those watching this that do not know, this is the heated madness bundle you can extract from Koshi. It requires five different parts, and then you get this brilliant little gun. It comes on the Castor 762 as an entire blueprint. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how to get all five of these pieces in one run. A scavenger bag is going to help you with more inventory space so you can get a car battery and jumper cables outside before you go in. Along with this, you want to try and find some radiation blockers for the entrance we're going to head into, which is in fact this kosher entrance in the middle of Oasis. It's a little hidden, but you can find it. Now coming into the Koshi complex can be pretty daring and intimidating for some people, but using a map like this, which I have linked in my Discord, certainly makes things a little bit easier when you're trying to navigate the area. Coming through here, you've got to go through a couple bunkers to find two keys, a defense research key A and a defense research key B. These will allow you to get into the area that holds the heated madness magazine. Once you've found both keys and you've made your way through the radiation doors, hit this one with both keys, it'll open up. It also takes you to the factory admin area where the buy station and everything is. But before that, take a search around this room. Normally in this corner, you'll see the heated madness magazine. Now coming into the Heated Madness Optic, you want to go to the barracks on the map. This is where it comes in really, really handy. This one is a little bit more difficult. If you've got a scuba mask, that would be perfect because you have to dive down here and follow my exact directions. If you don't, you probably will die. I certainly did a couple times doing this because I didn't have a rebreather or a scuba mask. But run through these doors, swim through these doors rather, you will make your way to here. Once you've made your way to this point, try not to die, there's a lot of bots and, well, C4 traps. Disable what you can, get to this point, throw an explosive on there, go through and follow my steps exactly, and you should find the heated madness optic. If it's not here, keep swimming around and you will eventually find it. Right here. And just like that, you can get in and out of there in one breath. Now onto the barrel. The barrel will be hidden in one of these four or around one of these four tunnels in the center of the chemical plant. Take a good look around. There will be bots. If it's not in one of the tunnels, it'll surely be right next to one of the tunnels. This, in my opinion, is the easiest part to find. Coming up next is the Heated Madness Muzzle. Now, if you haven't seen a couple of my other videos, I did a pretty good and in-depth rundown of how to get into this particular vault. Long story short, clear out these bots, get the rad detector from the chemical plant, which is always there, check out these symbols or numbers on top of that door, then you need to run around scanning all the blackboards until you find at least two numbers that match up with those symbols. At that point, it's just trial and error until you find exactly which numbers work. In this case, it was three, five something, so I just kept it in three, five, one, two, three, and so on. And inside, you'll find the heated madness muzzle on the ground. Now, if you look back to the Koshi map that I referenced earlier, you will see there are actually two parts in this area. There's the muzzle we just picked up and the grip on the opposite side. You'll need to go through and find three of those AQ laptops to connect them to each individual server rack in this room. They are above and they do have bots surrounding them, so do be careful. Once you've got all three connected, servers hacked, you'll see this elevator door open, clear the bots out, and just to the left of that, you will find the secret little room. You jump up there, go inside. There'll be a lot of little goodies around. Make sure you're safe. And inside, you'll find the Heated Madness Grip. At this point, I would recommend having an L2 restricted zone key because you do start to run low on time and there's about eight different L2 restricted zone exits in the alpha cluster. You can grab any of them and they will all lead you out to here. You can run through, there'll be a couple bots along the way, no biggie, handle that, get in the elevator, successful exfully, and you will have completed the Koshi Heated Madness secret blueprint. 
all five pieces done in one run preferably bring someone with you in case you do happen to die so you do get rezzed and there's more inventory space to share between the two of you now i tried to make this video very short and quick and simple for you guys hopefully you understand it do jump in my discord for that koshi map and this is it if you enjoyed it like subscribe leave a comment join the discord you can even become a member of the channel if you like get exclusive perks, it's all good fun. Until then, I will see you guys next time and have fun.